Mr. Mr. Madame Justice, that I dedicate this concerto in honor of the holiday she seems to have taken from these parts, and in recognition of the imposter that stands in her stead. Tell me, do you know what day it is, Evie? Um, November the 4th. Not anymore. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. First, the overture. Yes. Yes, the strings. Listen carefully, can you hear it? Now the brass. I can hear it. Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson. Just a just giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shimi Hawashar by Shimi Hakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, so I just started this lesson out with this uh, video, quick video from V from Vendetta. It was remember, remember the 5th of November. Okay, so we all know what's going to happen on November 3rd, which is the election that's coming up on Tuesday. All right. But remember, remember the 5th of November. The 5th is after the 3rd in this case and, you know, where we're living right now, you know, the time we're living now. We're all curious of what the aftermath of uh, November 3rd is going to bring. And as of recently, I have another YouTube video here in 60 minutes, as you can see of the... Um, the title of it says inside the far right militias preparing for the elections aftermath. Right. Because people are on edge about this, about Biden, and Trump thing. And regardless, whatever way it goes it, from what it looks like, it doesn't seem like it's going to be, you know, a peaceful transition over to the next president or a peaceful uh, transition to having the same president for the next four years. OK, so. The reason, another reason I brought out V for Vendetta is because this movie here, a lot of the things that took place in this movie is taking place now. In this movie, uh, it was in the middle of a pandemic. Also, you had civil unrest. That's another thing I want to get into today. And Yahweh Shai spoke about civil unrest pretty much in the scripts, which I'm going to get in Matthew, the 24th chapter. But there is another little part in here that I wanted to to show just to uh, right here okay you see that government <clears throat> government curfew if y'all didn't notice that the first time um, watching the, the, the video in the very beginning it says government curfew right we already experienced one shutdown to where you know places were you know pretty much shut down companies you know couldn't pretty much open back up but now there's going to be curfew that's going to be inst instilled and installed in this place coming soon there will be and is going to be a second shutdown hands down okay uh even whatever trump says like you know uh, he just tweeted today i think said biden wants to shut the country down and put it on lockdown but there will be no lockdown that's bull because there the cases of coronavirus has been skyrocketing and it's higher than ever than ever since it hit this place in America. Okay, and I don't know if the, the virus is real. The, the virus is real, but the numbers wise, I don't know if it's doing numbers like that. Very well may be, you see. But you can see right here in the V from Vendetta that a curfew was set in place by the government. All right, and you can see the civil unrest, the, the V for Vendetta dude, um, he was pretty much a vigilante, you know, wreaking havoc 
And you're going to have a lot of those individuals. And a lot of vigil, uh, vigilant, vigilantes nowadays is your, your local, yes, local militias. Okay? Your local militias. I'm going to get into that 60-minute video, but first I want to get the scriptures at hand. Uh, Matthew 24 chapter real quick. Okay? Because we're going to speak about the civil unrest that Yahweh Shai was speaking about. Okay? So it says, uh, Matthew 24 and 4, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Salakia 24 and 3, And as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him um, privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Right, the end of the world. Let's just see what that word world is in the in the Greek real quick. And it's aeon, which is age. Okay, when is it going to be the end of this age? And Esau, we're in Esau's age and rulership right now. There's going to be a new age to come, which a new aeon or eon, which is going to be the age where the Israelites rule. Okay, and that's that age is not going to age. <laughs> okay, so when is the next? When is the next age? Is what they're asking. Verse twenty four. And Yahweh shall answer and said to them, "Take heed that no man deceive you." Right. So don't be fooled or tricked. Okay, a deceit. A don't don't be fooled by deception, which is devilish. Okay, it says for many shall come in my name, saying, "I am Hamashiach." And shall deceive many. All right. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. You should hear of wars and rumors of wars. Okay. We do hear of these wars and things of, and things of that nature going on uh, overseas, Syria area, you know, Gaza, Israel, Lebanon. Okay. You see war games happening into the Mediterranean Sea and the China Sea. Okay. You can see them happening in Afghanistan, Iran, uh, in Iraq areas, okay? Uh, you can see Russia and China moving their chess pieces around to get in position to make, you know, a concerted effort to make the best attack when it's time to. You can see these things happening, all right? It says, see that you be not troubled. But as we see these things happening, we're not to be too flustered and, you know, flabbergasted and discombobulated about the things that are going on in the earth. These things are supposed to happen. Remember, the disciples ask, what shall be the signs? The, the rumors of wars are the signs, so don't be troubled at the signs, okay? Just be considerate of them, okay? Now we consider these things, and now we know Yahweh Shai is very close to his return, okay? Even with this election, it's a sign, okay? All right? The things, the division in America, it's a sign. Everything is pretty much a sign showing that Yahweh Shai is coming back. The civil unrest is a sign as well. It says, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. These things have to come to pass. The rumors of wars and wars, proxy wars, guerrilla warfare that's going on. People think we're not, you know, the, 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 the globe is not in war because they don't see a physical thing happening. But there's... There's people being assassinated, you know, people, puppet leaders being put up and, you know, brought down and things of that nature. There's actual boots on ground, you know, doing killings and things of that nature at the moment. And people are so dumbfounded and blind to the fact of everything that they don't, they just think everything's fine and dandy. They just need to get through this pandemic and everything and go back to normal, which is not the case. Nothing's going back to normal. Verse 7 says, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places correct all right so that is a form of civil unrest okay when you said nation against nation all right kingdom against kingdom ethnos against ethnos or ethnicity against ethnicity no i'm not saying race wars okay even though you do got some of these militia groups you got these individuals called proud boys talking about what you know, race riots and things of that nature. Uh, but there was one video I watched on militias. There's one um, Edomite, he was like, yo, this is not no black and white thing. He said, this is not no black and white thing. This is um, this is a, a left or right, pretty much a right or wrong thing that's going on. They don't give a, and, and it makes complete sense. Even the apostles uh, have said it, you know, it could be no race riots. 
if there's a race riots, Esau would tear Jake up because they got their blessing in full effect at the moment. OK, they have their blessing in full effect. OK, and they're not they know how to use their weapons. They know how to, you know, they know how to do they know how to do these things. OK, just straight up. There is a race riot. Jake will get smothered <laughs> pretty much. Uh, let me see if I can find. I think I found it here. All right. Let's see here. All right. Let me pull this down here so y'all can see it. All right. I'm going to play this real quick. I think that that's a possibility. Um, I think it's uh, probably a really close uh, possibility. Could bring unrest. Are we talking civil war? Because I people say civil war in these groups all the time. I think that that's a uh, possibility. Um, I think it's uh, probably a really close possibility. And though most people will try to make it a black and white thing, I don't think it's a black and white. I think it's a right and left thing. You see that? He said, "Came out the devil's mouth of his own." Man, he said, like, "I don't think it's a black and white thing. I think it's a, a left or right. Either you with it or you're not." Okay. That's what this is. That's what this is turning into. You, you voted for Trump or you voted for Biden. That's a that doesn't have nothing to do with race or color or anything of that nature. He said it straight up. He's like, it's a left or right thing. It's either you're with my philosophies or you're not there. We got to fight. We have an indifference there. There's a problem. OK, because I'll, I'll say this, too. Um, you do have, quote unquote, black militias. You have the new Black Panther movement or whatever that carry weapons and things of that nature. But you also have these regular old militias who actually are, you know, have speckled members, meaning you got Puerto Ricans, blacks, whites, all that shit within their groups. Okay. Matter of fact, let me see if I can, uh, let's see here. Right here. Cause this lady right here. Well, these white militia groups are racist. Well, some are, and some of the black groups are racist, too. I don't vouch for either one of them. Southern Poverty Law Center has photos of UK and Confederate flags. Some people say that's racist. And, and take a look at that. Take a look at that. You know, brothers who watch this in my camp, where is she right now? Where is she? That is Stone Mountain. That's Stone Mountain, Georgia right there. I can picture it clearly. I know, I know these rails. I go up that mountain all the time. I know... Um, a few of the Aki in, in my camp, we go, this is in Georgia, okay? There's militia groups in Texas, Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, you know, up north, Ohio, Indiana, all these places, because that is a constitutional right, okay? According to the first, I uh, think, you know, first, second amendment, there is a right to form a militia. They have the right to do so. She, this is in Georgia, but let's continue to listen to what she's saying. Some people say that's racist. Well, um, some people say it's racist. Some people don't. No. People in my group are Puerto Rican, blacks, you know, Cubans. I, I've got a mixture. You see that? There's a lot of people. It's not a black and white thing. And that's what we've been saying about this truth. It ain't no black and white thing. It's either you're the, the line of, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, or you're not. Simple as that. You see, either you're Israelite or you're not. I don't give a damn what color your skin is. If the spirit is... It bears witness that you're an Israelite and you got that type of sauce in you, that flavor, <laughs> then you're an Israelite. Okay? There's some individuals in the in, in perspective camps around the, the the globe who look like so called quote unquote so called Edomites and things of that nature, but they a Jake. Don't matter. Okay? And that's that's how it's you know, these even it's out of these devil's mouths is proven that it ain't about to be no race right. It's a left or a right thing. It's either you're with this or you're not. I don't give a damn what your color is. Pick a side. You see? All right. So going on, uh, Matthew 24 and 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. This is, we're in the inception of, uh, we've been in the inception of Jacob's trouble. It's just, it's it's like a snowball effect at the moment going down a hill. It's getting bigger and bigger as the momentum picks up. The momentum is getting crazy right now, especially with this election coming up. You see the minds of the people in these militias forming. 
there's going to be civil unrest. There's going to be another lockdown. People shut up in their houses, can't go places, can't get the supplies and goods they need. I was looking at, um, you know, of course, I, you know, usually uh, look at, you know, stocks and things of that nature and see what the stock market is doing. OK, <clears throat> see if it pulls up real quick. You see, uh, just the other day, I'm gonna get back, yeah, get to the points. It's been going, it's fluctuating again, going up and down because people are like, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know what's going on. All right, it was at 28,000, 29,000 not too long ago, it then dropped 3,000 points. Okay, on the low. People ain't really peeping this, but we're about to have another indication, like back in March. Where in one month it dropped 10,000 points. It went from 28,000 or 29,000 all the way to 18K. As you can see, the 52-week low. Okay? And also another thing, they're, they're focusing on what people are buying now. I read an article not too long ago um, where it said, people are not buying services type things anymore like that. Which are services are like restaurants, you know, movie theaters entertainment, anything that requires a service. People are not really putting their money into that anymore. Instead, they're putting, a lot of people are putting their money into real estate, buying houses, renovating houses. They said they're buying a lot of refrigerator and technology type things. And they're spending money on goods, okay? Which is going to the grocery store, stocking up on waters, canned goods, and things of that nature. Because last year in 2019, Believe it or not, well, shit, it's very believable because this place is full of folly because the scriptures say that in Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. It says uh, pretty much folly is set at, you know, set high and the rich sit in low places, just paraphrasing. Um, last year, in 2019, the uh, America spent more on entertainment than they did goods. That's absolutely bonkers. They'd rather be entertained than have a good, sufficient supply of food in their house. You can see the minds of these people. But all of a sudden, shit is hitting the fan. Now their minds have changed dramatically. People are building basements, doomsday prepping, and things of that nature. It's too damn late. And shit, even if you're doomsday prepping for 10 years, it don't matter. Because all that doomsday prepping is going to be held up for an elect 144 member in that day. You see? Okay. Let me exit out of here. And I'm going to play a little bit of this clip right here in 60 minutes. Just to show you these militias are preparing for the aftermath of this election. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. I don't know if this to get too long. Sandra attack. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Who here believes that there are right Sandra attack? You ain't got How many no of you guys rights. were in the military? Good number. Last night at a rally, President Trump called your governor, Gretchen Whitmer, a dictator. This is after everything that's happened with the uh, foil plot to kidnap her. She tweeted, this is exactly the rhetoric that has put me, my family, and other government officials' lives in danger while we try to save the lives of our fellow Americans. It needs to stop. I'm curious for your response. So most of people in Michigan will agree with Trump because everything she's done, it, some of it's made sense, some of it hasn't. The minute she went against the voice of the people to repel her emergency power, she became that dictator. Do you worry that this is just adding fuel to the fire? I don't think what Trump said is adding fuel to the fire. I think anything she does from this point forward that doesn't make sense or is in the good of the public will. Anything she does from here on out is going to determine if it fuels the fire or not. That's 100% on her. You believe that it's all on her? I believe where it goes is on her, yes. Being the governor of a state like Michigan is going to be a hard job. But it shouldn't carry consequences like these, where if people disagree with you, they want to take your life. That's exactly what it's going down to. Like you said, we were watching the other videos, it's a left or a right thing. If it's a disagreement, yes, that's what it's coming down to. If you disagree with me, it's time to take life. Okay? It's time to get busy. Now, I'm going to go to the very end of this video, and right here with this dude. Man. That all sounds... This guy speaking, you're going to listen to what he says. Broadly great, right? Yeah. But, but what does that actually mean? 
basically it's you know showing you see he has the u.s constitution these people know their rights especially in these militias they know their rights better than the police officers that quote unquote uh, protect and serve now i'm not saying all police officers are like that a lot of them know their jobs and know what to do and though usually the ones who know their jobs and know the the rule book and the uh different type of stipulations and of course constitution and things that are written they do their job they're not the ones shooting someone down in the streets for no apparent reason all right they're doing their job because they have to feed their family now you got other idiots who get the gun and the badge and just abuse the power okay because i'm i'm not backing the police force up or anything of that nature but it's just just logical because the scriptures talk about centurions Okay, which is quote unquote a form of policing. All right, they were of the Roman, Roman Cornelius. He was of the Italian band. All right, which is a, a this is a sect of the Roman army. That's it. He was just doing his job. That's how he earned his living, straight up. Okay, not all cops are quote unquote bad. They just get demonized of that nature because some of them do some stupid ass shit. For a lot, you know, excuse my French. It's just true. A lot of these cops want to shoot Jake down, okay? But you do have the select few who just, they just trying to do their jobs and go home, man. They just want to see their fan, okay? I'm going to continue playing. Trying to make a peaceful statement that, hey, government, you know, we see what you're doing. We don't like it. And the idea is that this is to help you keep peace? Yep. There seems to be so much tension mounting yeah. um, around the election. What do you think is going to happen? I think that whatever happens, you know, people are going to get hurt. People are going to get killed. You heard it straight out of Esau's mouth right there. I'm going to play it one more time. These are the times that we're coming in. People are going to get hurt. People are going to get killed. And we're going to do that one more time. I think that whatever happens, you know, people are going to get hurt. People are going to get killed. Straight up. A war is brewing up. A carnal war, war is brewing up. We've been fighting a spiritual battle. And us fighting the spiritual battle and staying spiritual, we're going to avoid that carnal thing, those carnal things uh, that are going to come to play when these people get caught up in this uh, nonsense that's about to happen. Okay? And also I want to do say, the scriptures you always see our forefathers, they were always in dire situation. Don't think you're just going to skate through Jacob's trouble without a scratch on you, okay? Because the scriptures talk about how the uh, righteous shall be scared safely, and you may enter into the kingdom maimed, okay? Don't think you're just coming in clean as a clean as a whistle, okay? You're going to go through some things. Your, your faith is going to be tested. You might be face-to-face -face having a full-fledged conversation with death, but you have to have the belief that you're going to get through it just like Yahweh Shai did. Simple and plain as that. But you will be okay. All right? You will be okay. You just got to go through your test. We ain't been through nothing yet, Akim. We haven't been through anything yet. And that time is coming where Esau is about to show his true carnality to this entire world. And everyone's going to truly know who this damn devil is who's been ruling this place in wickedness for over 400 years. You're going to see it. All right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and it gives you light on what the hell is about to happen. All right? Remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs> All right. November 3rd coming up. Let's see what the aftermath is hap um, has in store. Call law, you how about Shimmy was shy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Brother Kashaqual, until the next time. Shalom.